December by Richard Harris Brian and Jake meet in the waiting room of a large organisation. Both are here for job interviews. Bryony has a very high opinion of herself and is confident of success. Jake is just one of the lads and appears nervous and on edge. Bryony wastes no time in bestowing her considerable knowledge of how to impress at interview on the hapless Jake, with unforeseen consequences. Jackie, I'm waiting to go in now. Nah, no one else here. <laughs> yeah, oldest trick in the interview book. Keep you f- waiting a few minutes. Gives a chance for nerves to build up so you get careless with your answers. No, not even a coffee. The only mag's a technical crap. Hang on, someone's coming in. Hi. Gotta go. Another candidate, probably. A shop floor dresser. No competition there. Anyway, catch you later. Hi, here for the Inquisition. What? Interview. I guess, yeah. Supposed to be one o'clock for me. Ah, uh, running late, eh? If you know that clock's right, that is. Oh, going for the operations manager position, then. Sorry? You can tell the time. <laughs> Managerial material, that. Yeah, right. So? Hey, manager me? No way, man. The one you're going for? Obviously. Wonder how many there are. Applicants? Oh, dozens, hundreds. This is Northland. Shit, man. Take it you're up for the team member. Waste job. Yeah, waste recycling officer. Officer? Huh. Private second class, more like. What's a job? All oh, sorts. Messy. You're not competing anyhow. Good. No worries. You have many interviews. Haven't needed to. What I go for, I usually get. Easy peasy. Oh, I wish. Wish what? We're easy. Oh, sit down, relax. Read one of them mags. I can't even understand the titles. Does me head in this. This? Interviews. Shitting myself. No, it's only a job. Yeah, for you, no problems. Stresses me rotten. Not used to it, then? First one. First interview you've ever had? First today. But... Uh, Lesson one. The secret of success is the ability to survive failure. Should be up there with Bill Gates, then, me. How so? The number of failures I've had. (laughs) No offence, but mm, not surprised. What do you mean? Seriously. Yeah? You lack front... Front? Confidence. How you present yourself counts. People skills. Admittedly, often a male deficit. Reckon? Absolutely. I mean, well, first off, look at the way you came in. A mouse on depressants. I ask you, what sort of impression's that? I wasn't. Creeping in like a Big Mac at a Weight Watchers meeting. Don't mean I lack confidence. What then? Oh, just ain't pushy, that's all. (laughs) Whatever. Suit yourself. You think... What? Well, me, you know. Listen, you're selling a commodity, right? Come again? Your labour. Remember, you're selling it to a buyer. This place? Yeah. And why purchase yours instead of any other Joe's? Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. First impressions, presentation. Look, I'll give you an example. Let's say you're here waiting, I arrive, I walk in, okay? Hi, I'm Bryony, here for the interview. Oh, what an opportunity. I'm freaking out here, I'd so love this job. How about you? Uh, I'm uh, Jake. Yeah, and? What? That it? That's the extent of your social exchange, is it? Jeez, I rest my case. What else? Demonstrate your interpersonal skills, for starters. I mean, you never know, do you? I suppose... Know what? When you arrived, who'd you meet? 
No one, I was sent straight in here. <laughs> like by remote control? A robot, was it? I mean, who sent you? Well, the receptionist. He just took me details and told me to wait in here. There you are, then. Did you attempt any rapport? Shit, no, why'd I do that? Well, it's not unknown for an interview panel to get unofficial feedback on the interviewee whilst your guard's down. Yeah? Don't they just? The moment you walk through that door, you're on the stage. Hey? Yeah, maybe they ask the receptionist. Oh, Sandra, what did you think of the last one? Him? A definite case of irritable vowel syndrome. Really? Irritable vowel? Yeah, couldn't string a sentence together. Was that her name? Sandra? Oh, God, no. That was just an example, Jake. Oh, never thought that was what we were thinking. <sighs> Leastways, can't fault your sartorial standards. Come again? What you're wearing. Ideal. Oh, yeah, thanks. Dress down. Slightly tatty, but not a total ragbag. Oh, thanks a bunch. No, spot on. If you're too smart, they may think you'd not stick at that sort of job. I've got to get it first. Right, yo. Hmm, let's see. Tell me something about this place. Hey, I've never been here before. Aye, but you've done your homework, haven't you? Seen their website? Facebook? Twitter? Well, sort of, that is, you know, I... Oh, I, I... I thought not. Get your act together. Suss out the background on the company. Who's who? Jargon. Buzzwords. Hot buttons. Know your enemy. Buzzword? Yeah, gotcha. That's, uh, let's see, man. Hot buttons, man. Hot buttons? Passionate. Oh, they love that one. I mean, if you're going for a real estate job, you'd say you were passionate about selling real estate. So, what are you passionate about? Um... Footy's great. Oh, wrong. It is. You're passionate about waste recycling. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah, I got you now, bro. Mind you, it's important these days. Oh, glad you think so. Personally, I don't give a monkeys. But you see... My point is, you don't have to mean it. Take that old, well-known piece of advice. Work on your sincerity. Soon as I saw the ad for this job, my heart leapt. My pulse rate doubled. This is me. I am so passionate about waste, recycling, ecology, our green environment. It's pivotal to our nation's whole resource sustainability. Sweet, that's fantastic. That's wicked. Jake, I've been rehearsing that. Passionate about rubbish? Me? <laughs> You're having me on. I hate this stuff. I'm talking sincerity. Well, why'd you apply for this job if you don't really want it? Shit, bro, that makes no sense. Just arrived, need work, and it's easier to land a job if you've got one already. So grab what you're sure to get, and then look around at your leisure. Oh, leisure's wearing a bit thin for me. Mm. Sounds as if you're serious about this job. Oh, I'd be highly stoked, bro, if I got it. Duly noted. Oh, and a copy their mannerisms. That builds empathy. Emp empathy? Yeah. They fold their arms, you fold your arms. They cross their legs, you cross yours. Got it from that book, The Twelve Steps to Highly Efficient People. Pardon me, but known as grassroots levelers, business bollocks by the dozen. Oh, isn't that a bit, you know, dishonest? <laughs> You the honest type, then? <laughs> like, get real. That's a luxury for those who can afford it. You've got to have principles, man. Essential. Just choose those that work for you. Oh, and the big T. They drool over that word. The big T? Yeah, of course. The big T, eh? Yeah. Every time, bro. The big T. The Lions. Or maybe, in your case, England rugby team. Come on. The big T? Try nations? Teamwork. Choice. OK, OK. In my case, you'll be interested in my team leadership skills. So, I'll quote Tovenants to them. I treasure the quotes of Stefan Tovenants. Treat a person as they are, and they'll remain so. 
Treat them to their potential and they'll rise to that potential. Then a slight pause, see? Followed by the punchline. That's my approach to leadership. Far out. Tovenant? Stefan, male. Gender appreciation. Shows I'm not one of these feminist fiends. Bit of a donkey's dick, though, if you ask me. Pity is not an ethnic minority, still. Can't have it all. I'll give them an example. One of my team got drunk at the pub. Out of his trees. Really offensive. Awful language. Threatening. Jake? Anyone home? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what do you do? Calmed him down by asking about his family. Things he valued most. Next day, helped him to see how much he'd upset everyone. I mean, alcohol's a drug. Addiction and illness need to treat it as such and implement a longer-term strategic solution. We worked it out together. He became one of the cornerstones of my team. That's awesome, man. You really do that? What? Oh, no. Got the pub manager to sling the jerp out. (laughs) Sacked him next day. Bloody pisshead. But they don't know that, do they? The pissheads? No, the interviewers. Well... You? Me? All I ever thought it was a scrap on the pitch. Refereeing under 13s. Real handful. Not bad. Play on that. Maybe beef it up a bit. Say you're the team manager and all that community consciousness. Big tick. Of course. Not a right-hand driver, are you? Oh, don't have a car. No, no. I mean, like, gay. Not gay by chance. No. Oh, pity. What? Worth a point or two these days. Diversity, see. Another box ticked. Diversity? And gender. If it's all guys, need to get a few women on board. Not such a priority the other way round. Oh, gives you an edge, eh? Not always. Beware those little fish hooks. Like? Say, for example, you got any kids? Oh, two. With the ex. We're at school now. Ah. Uh, Bet you they'll look at me and wonder, is she going to have kids? Are we going to be lumbered with all that maternity leave crap? And hey, they can't ask the prize question, can they? Which is... Are you planning a family, Bryony? Discrimination, that sexist. Oh, I get you. So I slip it into the conversation. I mean, they're bound to ask something like, why this particular position? So I say... Well, when I realised I couldn't start a family, I I decided I would look for a really meaningful role. And this one shone out. Some old tosspot words along those lines. Oh, bugger. Sorry to hear you can't, you know... <sighs> well, have... my partner's over East for a year, see. Be different when he gets back. But they think... Doesn't matter, I've told no lies. You got a Facebook page... No, never got the hang of it. No, no threat there, then. How so? Can tell them more about you than your CV. Some people, jeez, you wouldn't believe what crap they put on theirs. Well, I thought that was supposed to be, you you know, confidential. (laughs) What planet are you on? Mind you, between us at the moment, mine would give Mother Teresa a run for her money. Anyhow, where are you from? Oh, London, originally. Oh, narrow it down. Don't want them to think you're from the South. Well, Wimbledon. Too much. They'll think you're playing the sympathy card. Well, we're a long time ago. Couldn't afford a shop doorway there these days. Oh, God, no. And now? Well, just up the road. North Finchley. Jeez. Muggers go round in pairs there, don't they? (laughs) Well, used to. It's threes now. Oh, great. Touch of humour. (laughs) Humour? And let them do the talking. Hang on to their every word as if they were spouting verse of spiritual enlightenment. Don't yawn. Bad vibes. So what was your last job? Well, I've been round the block, me. I did a couple of years with the prison service. Yeah? Which side of the bars? I was doing okay, too. So why pack it in? Well, Mum got real sick down south. No dad, see? Oh, tough. Still, shit happens. Tell you, management's not at all it's cracked up to be. 
Like a cemetery, plenty of people under you, but none listening. <laughs> That's a good thing. Uh, Clinton said that. The ex-president one, that is. That is why I believe in the rear-end motivational style of leadership. Rear-end? Yeah, good kick up at the butt. That works wonders. Tell me about you. Me? What's your work ethic? Ethic? I'll just keep my head down and do what I'm told. Watch it. Could be seen as a wheelbarrow. Eh? Doesn't move till pushed. No, I meant I wanted I to... I know what you meant, but it's what they hear that counts. Yeah, You but... know what they say. Message received is more important than message sent. Oh, so what do you reckon I should say? Something like, um... I believe in delivering more than what's expected. It's that extra mile that gives me the big buzz. Hey, bro, that's good. <laughs> You're joking. You'd end up doing every other idle sod's job for them. Wonder who's interviewing. Two, three, the boss, O and HR. Chances are one of the sisterhood. That's our thing. HR? Human resources. Yesterday's personnel, tomorrow's human assets. Men, no prob. Awkward question I leave forward, show some cleavage and watch their eyes pop like a stranded snapper. They don't even hear the answer. Well, that might not work for me. Oh, she'll be the one you'll need to impress. Tricky sods, HR. If she's a bit vocay, don't stare at her what's-its. And no dreaming of the full Levinsky. Keep your mind on the job, or should I say, the questions. Well, what do you mean, tricky? Devious. Lull you into a false sense of security. Oh, with a few pleasantries like, Oh, did you have a comfortable journey here, Jake? You did? Oh, lovely. We are so delighted to have you with us today. Meanwhile, she's really thinking, Look at him. Shaved with a sponge, did he? Then out comes the scalpel. Now, tell us, Jake, note the use of your name. Why did you apply for this job? Uh, knock, knock. Oh, yeah, he's, he has uh, been out of work for ages and I'd take anything going, me. That is probably only marginally better than an explosive escape of bodily gases. But it's the truth. <laughs> Don't let the truth stamp on a good answer. I don't know what else to say. Oh, you've been biding your time until something really worthwhile came along. Doing voluntary work to gain experience. Hospice, Red Cross, Sally's... Oh, feed a granny. Use your common. Um, uh, I'm bar manager at our local Amdram society. That's voluntary-like. Really? Well, there you are, then. The other trick is to see if you've got a spark of life in you. They'll say something iffy, contentious, say. See if you rise to it. Oh, not with you? Obviously. Oh, quite honestly, I'd give up now if I were you. Get back down to your mates in job search. I envisage a Christmas card relationship developing there. Oh, Bryony, that's I will not... only saying, Jake, only saying. Expect surprises, that's all. Just remember, some interviews are conducted very differently these days, so watch your step. The eyes like hawk me. Well, just as well, because life is a path strewn with nasty little doggy turds. Hey, someone coming. Uh, Miss Trasker, uh, if you'll come this way, please. Mm. Inquisition time, Jake. Chance to shine like a Van Dyke goal. Good luck, you'll need it. Hi, Tamara. Yep, yeah, finished the preliminary interview. She's on her way. Just take her details. A few of the standard questions make it short and sweet. No, not for us. Shame. Promising on paper. Climbed up on the cross and crucified herself. She'd demotivate Richard Branson. Next one arrived. Ten minutes. Time to grab a coffee. Oh, all this interviewing's making me dry as a smoker's cough. <laughs>